We did it! We got one in the boat, guys! today but still fishing carp. Uh, I found this bay last year and I uh, noticed a bunch of fish in it. Uh, we have a little inlet that comes in here a small creek system and it's like a hard sand gravel bottom and uh, we came back and we saw like eight to ten fish maybe a dozen fish this morning when we came in so uh, maybe three four feet of water hard bottom um, we're gonna put uh, two rods on one side two rods on the other side uh, we're up by my place on the Ottawa River on the Ontario side, so we are allowed three rods each, and uh, we're just gonna set the rods right on the deck and listen for the alarms to go. So I'm gonna head out there, feel the bottom around with the spoon, and uh, find a nice hard spot, throw some corn, a little bit on that side, a little bit on that side, and uh, we're gonna get the rods set up, get them out. Okay, camera line. Couple boilies. Back lead. Take it away from the camera line. That just helps me pin my line all the way to the camera. And I have back leads on that rod as well as the camera line. So fish can't get caught up in anything. This is nasty. We got the aqua view in and we've seen some fish jump in the swim we've got the corn in and i walked the camera out and put it in by hand and uh placed my method ball right in front and we got the wind blowing into this bay so it's kind of hard to see with the water getting a little bit dirty but we have a little bit of visibility and i was like watching the aqua view with the umbrella up we can see a little bit better and i was like i think there's a carp and like came right up to the camera like a big fat 20 plus for sure and uh, we just got it recording in time. You just see the tail going off. And then he comes back and does like a full drive by right in front of the camera. So they are on, like he passed like right over top of the method ball. The fish are here. We're on the boat. Rods are just laying on the deck. Fred's rods are in the rod holders. I actually think I have three. Um, I don't have four. So I'm actually gonna get another one, I think. And I think I'm gonna adopt that. Um, we're not really ever far away when we're in the boat from the rods, so no real need for uh, alarms because you're going to hear the drag rip. So uh, might be a new way for me to uh, carp fish off the boat just right out of the salties. But uh, I think it's going to go. We're going to get a fish. We're going to hear that real just drag peeling. So i uh, get back to you guys shortly, hopefully with a big scaly carp. Carp, big, big carp, it looks like. 
man, he's eating the method ball like it's. I, I don't know how the rod hasn't gone. Oh my god, come on! That's so amazing, <laughs> dude. Oh, he's been on it for like a minute now. Like, there's not a lot of food there, it's just a method ball with like 10 boilies. We've had carp on the camera now for like at least 10 minutes. Oh, come on, he's back, just head down, man. He's coming right onto the camera again. one in the boat guys that muddler came and ate it right on the camera yes yeah <laughs> I lost my flip-flop <laughs> right out right in front of you need your nets I just don't want to tangle in that camera line Okay. Yeah, man, that's so <laughs> awesome. We saw it live. Yeah. What a take. What a take. My GoPro died, but that's okay. Not a good angle here. Dude, he's, a, he's strong. He's a fight. He's a good fish. He's a fighter, eh? Awesome! Yeah. This is exactly what we wanted. Virgin carp, man. That's a 20 plus, I guess. Yeah. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a nice. Dude, so good. That is, that is exactly, even if it's the only fish of the day, dude, like, the yeah. one on the camera. Yeah. That was awesome. Man. Brand new spot, like never been here before, ever. Put the feet out by hand. Camera set by hand. Oh, epic. No alarm. No alarms. Just <laughs> listen to that drag. <laughs> Give a big pop. So we just got that fish, guys. It's like plus 35 today, it's really, really important. First of all, make sure you have your mat. And second of all, make sure your mat is wet. You don't wanna take the slime off these fish and you don't wanna be putting them down on something that's scorching, scorching hot. So we wet our mat. Let's take a look at this. Oh, it is long, like we said. Beautiful fish. She's got those really black lips on her. Telltale sign that she's been feeding on mussels. Uh, we're using fruity baits. I don't have anything really fishy, but it was good enough to trick her. We had her on camera for like five or 10 minutes and then a, a catfish came in, stole a little bit of the bait, and then a second carp showed up and she was like, no, no, no. And uh, that's the result. Super nice fish. We knew she was long, and there was a really fat one on camera too. 
So hopefully I can get the rod back out, put that bait right back in front of the camera and uh, get a couple more fish. Super nice fish. Wow, she's pretty thick. Yeah. Really nice back on her. See you later, my first Ottawa River carp, man. Finally, after living up here for a year, I took the time to pursue them. Awesome, let's get it back out. more action uh, after we had that first fish there seemed to be a lot of fish in the area we had seen a bunch when we moved in saw some jumping saw all those fish on the camera and then uh, a guy came with a backhoe and just started digging 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 a boat ramp right beside us so I felt like it pushed the fish away so we had gone and like checked out a little bit more of the bay didn't see anything came back they were done digging uh, set back up here. We've since moved like twice kind of within like a maybe a 20 yard vicinity Trying to refine the fish, but uh, it is hot 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 is like 35 or 38 degrees right now. We're sitting out under the umbrella melting So I don't know what we're gonna do. We got a couple hours left We might make a move and go check another spot and see if we can find some fish to get on but uh, if not, still pretty great to get out and uh, get on these fish, find them with the boat, and then drop, literally walk the food into them, drop the camera down and catch them on camera. Pretty awesome. Don't forget, subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. More carp and content to come like that this summer as soon as the Ontario border opens and get back to Long Sioux. But uh, still got a couple hours left. Like I said, we might make a move. Uh, if not, or we're gonna still just sit here, watch the aqua view and uh, wait for another bite. Well guys, that's it. I'm at home actually finishing up the video right now and uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm um, gonna be doing lots of that this summer for sure. Musky opener is just around the corner though and uh, I got a lot of clients booked for that so there'll be a, like a solid month and a half of musky content. Maybe a couple days of carp in there every now and then but uh, thanks for checking out this week's video. Don't forget, go down, help out the channel, subscribe, like, share it in your social media. Helps me out in a big way. And uh, thanks for checking it out. See you guys next week.